Hello everyone, how are you guys? I hope you are healthy and fine. On this occasion I would like to share complete information and guides for the event that has just appeared in Whiteout Survival, namely Tundra Adventure. Without further ado, let's start the discussion. Tundra Adventure is an event that has just arrived at Whiteout Survival, where the main game of this event is playing using dice, where every time a player touches a tile or manages to go around one full round, the player will get rewards. You could say this game is quite similar to playing Monopoly. How to play Tundra Adventure is actually simple, but you need to understand a few things first. The first, the number and type of tiles. Let's imagine Tundra Adventure as a game board, here the game board has a total of 26 tiles, where the tile types are divided into four, namely starting tiles, treasure tiles, event tiles, and item tiles. Starting tiles are markers, which indicate the start line and end line of the game board. Every time you successfully step on or pass these tiles, you will get two random items from the tiles on the game board and give one XP for each tile, there is only one starting tile on the board. Second, treasure tiles. Treasure tiles are tiles that only give adventure coins as rewards, and the number of adventure coins you get is random, ranging from 80 to 1200, and the number of treasure tiles on this board is 4. Third, event tiles. Event tiles have a lot of excitement, where every time you step on an event tile, you have the opportunity to get additional moves from action commands, get a number of adventure coins, or get illusion dice, which is the best item in this event, and keep in mind there are three event tiles on this board. The fourth, namely item tiles. Item tiles are tiles that contain items such as gems, fire crystals, speed up items, essence stones, and materials for upgrading hero gear. Unlike other tiles, item tiles can be upgraded randomly, by stepping on them, and passing through the starting tiles. And keep in mind, that there are 18 tile items on the board. So in short, the game board consists of one starting tile, for treasure tiles, three event tiles, and 18 item tiles, which in total, means the game board consists of 26 tiles. The next thing you need to know is, dice and how to get them. There are two types of dice in this game, the first is common dice, and the second is illusion dice. Common dice will only issue random numbers every time they are shuffled, while with illusion dice, players can determine what numbers will come out, so this is what makes illusion dice the best dice in this event. And to get common dice, you can get it for free from Adventure Drill, by doing daily missions. From the chest and odyssey of adventure, by completing each task given. Or you can also get it by buying it through the adventure resource pack, which I think is quite cheap and instant. Meanwhile, getting illusion dice is a bit difficult, where you can only get them from milestone rewards, event tiles, and adventure drill, by unlocking the adventure guide. After that, the way to play itself is actually quite simple, where your main goal on the Tundra Adventure Board is to collect as many adventure coins as possible, by shaking and throwing the dice, and walking around the board while collecting adventure coins, which are only available on treasure and event tiles. The bigger the dice number you get, the faster the milestone reward progress will be. The more you roll the dice, the greater your chances of getting adventure coins and illusion coins from milestone rewards. And there is one more thing you need to know, Every time you successfully set foot on a tile containing a chest, you also have the possibility of getting speed-up items, adventure coins, and mythic hero shards, which I think are pretty good rewards in this event. Still part of Tundra Adventure, there are also features that are no less interesting such as Adventure Drill and Odyssey of Adventure. We start from Adventure Drill, in this event feature, your main goal is to collect as many adventure points as possible, by completing the available daily missions, such as daily login, training troops, doing intel missions, hunting beasts, doing epic recruitment in the hero's hall, and also use speed up items. As a free player, every day you can get 700 adventure points, and as a player who has unlocked the adventure guide you can get 1400 points every day. Because this event lasts for 6 days, all players can definitely get the highest rewards, namely mythic shards. 
And another feature that is also good is Odyssey of Adventure, here the player's main goal is to open reward chests by completing all the tasks given, in total there are 15 tasks and 9 reward chests. Where for one mission line that is successfully completed, either the bottom line or the side line, the player will get a rewards chest containing common dice, fire crystal, manual, gold key, and hero XP. And if the player successfully completes all the tasks, then you can get the main rewards, namely common dice, fire crystals, mythic hero shards and gems. It could be said that this event feature can only be completed in its entirety if the player makes a purchase, so there is no harm if players spend money on this event, because the rewards available are also quite good. And the last feature in this event is the Adventure Caravan. This feature is the same as the shop menu, where players can buy every available item using Adventure Coins, which can only be obtained by playing Tundra Adventure. The items that I recommend for you to buy here, are all of them, apart from the speed up items. And the ones I recommend the most are emotes, city skins, avatars, and march skins. And remember, after the event is over, the adventure coins you have will automatically be converted into resources. So don't try to save it, but use it wisely. I will only share tips for playing in Tundra Adventure, because I'm sure this will conclude how to play all the event features. The main key to Tundra Adventure is dice, and tiles. Tips for dice, I suggest as much as possible, during the 6 days of the event, buy the adventure guide package so that you get more dice, and actively complete all the daily missions given. Also complete Odyssey of Adventure, because each chest there contains common dice which will definitely be needed to speed up progress on milestone rewards in Tundra Adventure. And finally, buy the Adventure Resource Pack. The main goal is to get as many dice as possible, to be able to maximize milestone rewards, because just by reaching the highest milestone, you can get 9600 Adventure Coins, with this amount alone you can buy one March skin, one Avatar frame, and emote. And then tips for tiles. You need to remember that not all tiles need to be stepped on, or greened. I suggest that you make tiles treasures and events your target. It's quite difficult if you only have common dice, because you can't control the numbers. But if for example you have illusion dice, try to always direct the numbers to treasure tiles and events, or even better to tiles containing chests, because this will increase your chances of getting more adventure coins. Tundra Adventure is a new event which I think is quite interesting, judging from its playing mechanics. Because apart from offering new skins, avatar frames and emotes, players are also introduced to a new way of playing, which can definitely kill every player's boredom in the game. Apart from having to make several in-game purchases, this event is one of the interesting events and is enough to sharpen players playing strategies in collecting adventure coins. Overall. I personally quite enjoy this game. Talking about events, in the video description, I have also provided several interesting videos that you might need to watch. And we will meet again in the next Whiteout Survival video, bye. Stay with me.